lots of colourful mushrooms, mm -hmm. toadstools, very different colours of mushrooms and toadstools and I'm walking under them. Mm -hmm. How big are you? Small compared to the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Colourful mushrooms. Mm -hmm. What colours do you see? Green, pink, mm -hmm. yellow spots, blues, lots of different colours. Mm -hmm. Waterfalls. It's a beautiful place. Do you have a body in this place? Yes, I see myself as a gnome. As a gnome? Describe yourself for me. Mm. With a red hat. Mm -hmm. Red hat, pointy hat, a little bit like a, like a dwarf. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Oh, male. Male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. I'm older. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Thirty's coming to mind, but I look older. Mm -hmm. I seem to be a little bit grumpy. Let's see what's going on in this place. It's such a beautiful place for you to be grumpy. What's causing your grumpiness? What's happened? Where is it that you're going today? I, I, all I see is clouds mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. and the sun shining. How does that make you feel? Relieved? Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you feel relieved about this. What's going on in your life? See yourself there. What's causing all of these issues that's making you grumpy? Mm, the sun doesn't shine as much as it used to. Mm -hmm. What's happened? Things are not growing as they were supposed to. Are you responsible for the growth? No. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So when the sun doesn't shine and things don't grow, how does that make you feel? Go deep into your emotions. Sad. Mm -hmm. it makes me feel I don't have any control. Tell me more. What are you feeling? I don't want to be responsible for this. Mm -hmm. Has someone what made you responsible for this? I don't like this responsibility. I have no control. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what your responsibility in this place actually is. See yourself in that role. To make sure everything's alive and vibrant. Mm -hmm. What do you do to make it alive and vibrant? I talk to them. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? That they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you believe it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They are so beautiful, those mushrooms. And they make me happy and they make everyone happy and they're so... and they protect us. What do they protect you from? Birds. 
Mm-hmm. Blackbirds. Are you afraid of the blackbirds? With black and green beaks. Mm-hmm. What do they do? They take us away. Tell me more. Have they taken away anyone that you love? What no. Is... Mm-hmm. No, but I feel sad for the other people they've taken away. Mm-hmm. Were they your friends? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So your role is to ensure that mm-hmm. those mushrooms are big? Big. They cover us. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what to do with the sun if the sun doesn't come out. So let's find out what's happened that is keeping the sun from coming out. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene that has the answers. Be there now. A volcano is erupted. Mm-hmm. The sky is full of black smoke, dark cloud, clouds. Where is this volcano? Is it far? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can feel it trembling. How do you feel when you feel that? I feel scared. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I'm scared. It's because I know the volcano is too far away to hurt us. Mm-hmm. But it's frightening all the same with the ground shaking. What happens when the ground shakes? We all run. We run. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if some of these toadstools are our houses. Let's find out. I, it seems to be. Mm-hmm. It seems to be they can go inside the room. So allow yourself now to go to the place where you live. See if... Like a cave. Mm Mm-hmm. What does it look like? I don't know if the entrance is a toadstool and behind this rock. I'm not sure. Well, allow yourself to see it from a distance. Detach yourself and look from a distance. And you'll be able to see it. What does it look like? Mm-hmm. What is the outside? It's a toadstool entrance with underground going down mm-hmm. into into the earth. And in there, keep going down. It's where we all live. We're all connected by tunnels. We have our own spaces, but we're connected by tunnels. Mm-hmm. What does your space look like? Mm-hmm. It's it's meager. Mm-hmm. It's earth and there's roots coming from the ceiling and and we love Mother Earth. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm some sort of an elemental, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. What do you look like? I know. Mm-hmm. And those others that are with you. Mm, gnomes, gnomes mm-hmm. we're all little gnomes, looking after different, different vegetation, different things. I, I like looking after the mushrooms because mm-hmm. I love the colorful mushrooms and there are entrances and and they hide us. Mm-hmm. And when you're in your element, in Mother Earth, mm-hmm. how do you feel? Safe. Mm-hmm. 
secure, warm, nurtured and loved. Mm -hmm. And do you have a family? Let's find out. No. No. Do you like being by yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have a name that they call you? I don't know if it's Numble or Grumble. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. When I say Numble, does that sound right or Grumble? Grumble. Grumble. Very good. So, Grumble, let's now close that scene and let's go to another scene of that same lifetime when something significant is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Look around you. Are you indoors or outdoors? I'm peeking from underground. Mm -hmm. The sky is very dark. The toadstools have lost their color. They're withering. So now we can't come out because the birds are landing and looking around. Mm -hmm. Toadstools have always shrunk. The vegetation is overgrowing. So we stay underground now. And, it, and some of us are starving. You have to think. What do you eat? How to eat now. What do you eat? We eat some of the flowers and the plants. We have stacked some, but eventually it's going to all go. Mm -hmm. We have to know how to. We are gnomes though, we are gardeners, we know what to do. We grow, but we don't know how to mimic the sun. Mm -hmm. So now we have to think of other things to eat. We don't want to eat slugs and worms. So what happens next, Grumbo? What do you do? I don't know what to do. So allow the scene to fast forward and see what happens. We have a meeting to see if we can tunnel to different areas with the sun. If there is sun shining, mm -hmm. we there's not enough of us though. What's happened to the others? Some have split away. Some have gone to do other things. Others have died. Others have been captured and taken, those who tried to venture out by the birds. Mm -hmm. There's not many of us left to take, to try something else. We, we, if we go underground more, there's things that will eat us. We don't want to go down, dig further down. We have to dig across. Mm -hmm. What will eat you underneath? Other, other animals. Mm -hmm. so, giant centipedes. Mm -hmm. Unusual, strange creatures. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go down. We want to go across. 
So what happens? What happens next? I'm seeing darkness. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I go up to the surface at night with a group to try and travel and go keep traveling until we find the sun. And I'm seeing lots of mountain ridges and I'm seeing the sun far away coming up on the horizon. How does that make you feel when you see that sun? It makes me feel good, but it's a strange, strange area, mountainous, mm -hmm. water. We've not been in this area before. A beach, far away a beach, mm -hmm. water. Do you mostly live in the forest? Yes, mm -hmm. that's our home. We don't know this terrain, mm -hmm. we, and we are very weak. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we make it or whether we go pass away. We don't know. I don't need other, other creatures. So let's close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime, Grumbo. Elves. Mm-hmm. What do you see? Elves. We see elves. We mm -hmm. see other nature spirits. Mm -hmm. Elves, they give us f fruit, food. The elves help us. How much bigger are they from you? They're a little taller and skinnier. Mm -hmm. And they are lighter, they're like almost white and mint, mint green. Mm. Mm. Their skin is different than yours. Mm -hmm. What color is your skin? Brown. Mm -hmm. Brown. Mostly brown. Like the earth. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Lighter brown. Mm -hmm. Very, very elemental, very grounded, very, we're solid. Mm -hmm. These elves are a little bit more wispy. They're lighter. They're lighter to look at, and lighter in weight. So where did you find these elves? They found us. Mm -hmm. They found us. They live on the mountains. Very good. How do you feel now? <sighs> Relieved. Relieved, happy, and some of the elves can fly, but we're too heavy to pick up for them to take us mm. closer into another area. So what do you do? So they build. So they build this thing where they put one one of us in, and then there's four of them flying. Mm. It's like two sticks with a leaf in between. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a movie. Mm -hmm. And then they take us one by one into another wooded area. <sighs> and there's no toadstools there. What do you do? I'm tired now and we make do with what we can. We live in trees. And we have to, we have no seeds left to plant. Mm -hmm. What do we? I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody bought seeds from the old toadstools to plant. I don't know. So, Grumbo, let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be mm. there now. Where are you? In my tree stump. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Quite old. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that we got to start somewhere else, even though it's not the same. Were you able to 
save mm -hmm. some of us. Yes. Yes. Were you able to build new toadstools and mushrooms? I think so. Mm -hmm. But they're very, very young. It's going to take them many years to grow into what we want mm -hmm. and to hide and protect us. So we have to go into the trees and mm -hmm. anything that we can find to hide us. Mm -hmm. And do you live with the elves in that place? No. They visit us from time to time mm -hmm. to check on us, but that that's not where they live. Very good. So now, Grumbo, take your last breath in that lifetime. And let's leave that body behind. And as you look back at that lifetime, there's always a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To look deeper in myself, to help to find the courage to help not be frightened of the birds and to go and find another place for my people mm -hmm. to be courageous to and be well, courageous and what was the lesson? and responsible mm -hmm. I wasn't able to hold I was tired of my responsibility I was responsible till the end mm -hmm. So let's find out what that lifetime has to do with the lifetime of Anjali. What is she carrying forward from that lifetime? What are the similarities? Responsibility. Mm -hmm. Responsibility. Yes. And the courage to move forward. Mm -hmm. Is she finding herself in the same situation? Mm -hmm. To where she needs to bring up courage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's moving forward into a new venture, mm -hmm. a place that she's never been before. It's like Grumble coming out from <coughs> underground and moving to find a new place. Mm -hmm. So now as she ventures out into new territory, who are the elves who are helping her? My spirit guides. Mm -hmm. What do they tell her? They'll be there helping me all the way. And she may not have the toadstools to protect her. Mm -hmm. But what will she have? Confidence. Mm -hmm. And where is that confidence inside of her? Where does she keep it? In my higher heart. Mm -hmm. Does she have access to that higher heart? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's access that confidence now and let's connect that higher heart and bring it into her own. Allow them to merge. Feel that confidence. And allow it to open up and send that confidence into every cell of her body. Every cell, every bit of her essence, let's flood her with that confidence that she's always had. And tell me how that changes her. So I'd like for you now to show her a picture of what this is going to look like in her future as she meets with people. 
as she talks with them, as she uses her skills and confidence to take them on their own journey. Show her that picture now. And describe it for her. She feels very light. Mm -hmm. Accomplished. Mm -hmm. And happy that she's able to be a conduit to make a difference. That's right. And her kids also respect her so much. And she's able to help her husband and her kids. And this is, makes it all so worthwhile to be born. Mm -hmm. She had a question about her purpose. Why was she born at this time? To make a difference to people, mm -hmm. to help guide people, to help them see who they really are. And is Anjali doing that now? So, yes, mm -hmm. somewhat. Mm -hmm. This would be added. That's right. Yeah. So do you feel that this is what she needs to do? Mm -hmm. To fulfill her purpose? It is. Mm -hmm. It is a step. Mm -hmm. It is a step. A big step. What would help her get on her spiritual path? More meditation. More meditation. She tells me that she has difficulty focusing and concentrating. Why is that? Self-belief. Mm -hmm. Not having self-belief. Mm -hmm. What does she need to believe in? Herself. Mm -hmm. She just needs to believe in herself. She just needs to know she's done this before. She knows She's done this before, mm -hmm. and she needs to feel the emotions of when she did this before, and she was successful. So let's show her a picture of when she has done this before. Show her that picture of that lifetime. <coughs> when was this? 18th century is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Show her a picture of who she was in the 18th century. Are you male or female? Can you please drop me deeper? Mm -hmm. Sleep. Use your breath now to go even deeper, deeper and deeper. As I touch your shoulder, you'll feel yourself going deeper and deeper. Feel yourself as if you were weighing down, going down an elevator, going down, down. Deeper and deeper down. That's right. Slipping into that lifetime. Seeing yourself now emerge in that life. Where are you? Is it daytime or nighttime there? Trust your first impression. I see a lamppost. I see a lamppost. Mm -hmm. It's on. It's a gasoline lamppost. Mm -hmm. Horse and carriage. Cobblestone. I'm a woman dressed in black. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. Black shoes. Mm -hmm. Black stocking. Those shoes, I'm not sure if they're 18th century, they have a buckle. Mm -hmm. 
Look at your dress. What does it look like? Long, just a long dress. Mm -hmm. Long black mm -hmm. dress. Is it warm weather or cold weather there? How does it feel? It feels like damp England. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing anything on your head? Wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. The inside of it's white. Mm -hmm. What about your hands? A little dirty. Mm -hmm. What social status do you belong to? I'm okay. I'm not well to do, but I'm okay. I'm not poor. I'm not poor, poor. Mm -hmm. But I'm moderate. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why your hands are dirty. My hair is. It's kind of a blonde, ash blonde. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes. And Matronly, I think about 40. 40, uh huh. And um, I don't know, I've been somewhere. Mm -hmm. We're going somewhere. I think I've been dropped somewhere. So you'll know that now. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, you'll know exactly what you're doing in that time and place. Three, two, and one. You now know exactly what you're doing there. Healing somebody. Mm -hmm. Healing somebody who was sick. How do you heal? I touch them, mm -hmm. and I talk to them, and I pray over them, and I channel, channel a lot of love and light over them. Mm -hmm. And it's done in secrecy. Why must you do it in secrecy? Because of the witch trails. Mm -hmm. And I'm scared all the time. All the time I'm scared. But people keep coming to me. People keep asking for my help. And I find it so difficult to say no. Mm -hmm. But I'm scared. Mm -hmm. All the time I'm scared. What do you call yourself in that moment? Edith. Lifetime? Edith. Mm -hmm. So, Edith, let's go now to the most important healing of all that you did. See yourself doing that now. This man, tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. Not sure. He was coughing blood. Mm -hmm. And his wife brought me to him, laying on the wooden table, and I channeled light all over him, and I prayed over him all night, and I'm so exhausted. And as I was leaving, he said, he was able to talk, and he felt the color coming to his cheeks again. And his wife was so grateful. So grateful. But someone saw me. What happened next? Someone saw me. His recovery was so quick. Mm-hmm. So quick and good. But I don't know what. Was it his little daughter who talked about it or somebody heard? I feel it was a young person who was innocent. Mm -hmm. Talking how 
Her father was saved from death by this woman. And there was no doctor. What happened I'm next? I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Mm -hmm. Where are you running to, Edith? I don't know, I'm running. It's a forest, I'm running in the forest. And there's people chasing me with lamplights. And it's misty. And I'm running. And there's a bog. A bog. Do you know what a bog mm -hmm. is? Yes. Marsh. And I slip and I fall into this marsh rock and I'm so scared and I don't realize and I keep bending down trying to hide but what I don't realize is I'm being pulled under into the earth and I can't pull myself out Detach yourself from that scene and just watch it from beyond. Tell me what happens. I suffocate and die. Mm -hmm. So, Edith, I'd like for you to leave that soul, leave that body behind, and as a soul, I'd like to see where you go what after. What a waste. Mm hmm. Tell me about that lifetime. What are you feeling? What are your reflections? Remorseful. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you're remorseful. Remorse, what a waste that people don't understand. What a... I had such amazing abilities and I had earned all of them. What a waste to die like that. Mm -hmm. So leave that body behind and let's go continue to find your guides after that lifetime. See your soul going back home. Tell me where you go. It's so funny, I'm so angry mm -hmm. when I walk in. I'm so annoyed. Mm -hmm. Where is it that you are? I'm annoyed when I go and see my guides. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? They're weirdly dressed. What do they wear? They've got very long faces and very, very long hats. Very tall, long hats. Mm -hmm. Very long faces and very tall, long hats. And I'm really mad. What do you say? What a, you know, what a, why did I have to die like that? What a waste. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you have saved me? What do they say back? It's time to come home. Let's find out why you had to live that life. What do your guides tell you about it? I was meant to heal people that I did wrong to in other lives. That was my mission. Did you succeed? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was the last person. That was the person, the most important one, mm -hmm. what that I had wronged. Mm -hmm. In another life, and I was just balancing my karma mm -hmm. in that lifetime. So let's find out about this lifetime. As Anjali, let's ask your guides a little bit about this lifetime. What are you meant to be doing in this lifetime? What did you sign up for? To not be fearful. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the challenges were that you selected for this lifetime. What challenges would allow you to meet your fear?
not being told I was good enough. Mm-hmm. Being told I was never going to be good enough. Mm-hmm. And did she choose the yes. players in that life who would tell her that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did she know that ahead of time before she came here? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who are these players who told her these untruths? Her brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. Did she know them before? Did she know her brothers and sisters mm-hmm. before she came to this lifetime? Did they agree to tell her she wasn't good enough? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And why did she sign up for that? Challenge. Mm. It was a challenge of self-belief. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what people say to you, that is not true. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what people say to you, doesn't matter. What is the truth? What you feel. Mm-hmm. What you feel. And your f- feelings are not supposed to be based on other people's. reaction to you. Mm-hmm. What are the other challenges that she chose for this lifetime? Not to run, not to try to do, not to run from things. Mm-hmm. Don't run from things. What has she been running from? Actually, actually doing the things, mm-hmm. actually. The activity. Mm-hmm. How is she doing in this lifetime? <sighs> is she running? This time she is again. Mm-hmm. What is she running from this time? There's no bug to fall into now. Who's chasing her this time? Give her a picture. Does she have healing abilities again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she not using them? Not like that lifetime, mm-hmm. no. She uses she uses her voice. Her voice. Is she using her voice the way she should be in this lifetime? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Good. Who's helping her with that? find out what's causing her not to breathe well. Let's show her a picture of what's keeping her from breathing. There's a heaviness in my chest. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that heaviness is. Does the heaviness, does it come from a past life or is it something that's there, an energy? Let's identify Mm -hmm. this energy. What is this heaviness? almost feels like fear. Uh Uh-huh. Let's take a look at that fear and find out where it's coming from. It's all around my heart Mm -hmm. and my chest. Is this fear something that she put there? Let's find out the origin of that fear. Follow it back to find out when that fear first attached to it to her heart area. Where did it come from? Follow it back. Where is the origin of that fear? Keep following.
following it back. Going back in time. Where did that fear come from? Let's go back even further. I'm going to count from five back to one and let's go back to the origin. Five. Going back in time now. Four. Looking for the origin of fear. Three. Almost there now. Two. Becoming crystal clear. And one. Be there now. Where did this come from? Where are you? What is this memory? Is it this lifetime or a different lifetime? Uh, this lifetime. Mm -hmm. Where are you? In a dark room. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Four or five. What is this room? Mm -hmm. It's a room they put me in mm -hmm. with horror music to scare me, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. so I would eat. I didn't like eating mm -hmm. spicy food. Mm -hmm. So they would put me in there to scare me. Well, let's find out what that fear attracted. What's in that room with you? Look around. Detach yourself. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Feel your way around. Use your instinct to see what's in that room, what's being created. What is this fear creating inside of you? What do you feel? Pain. Mm-hmm. Where is this pain? In my chest. Mm-hmm. This feels like pressing down. Uh-huh. So let's find out what that pain is. I'm going to put my hand over that pain and bring it up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Mm. This energy can express itself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Edgar. Edgar. How old are you, Edgar? Eleven. Mm -hmm. Edgar, how long have you been there with Anjali? Since she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Why did you find her? She was scared. Uh -huh. ah. And what happened to you, Edgar? <sighs> how did your body die, Edgar? I was scared, too. Mm-hmm. What happened to you? What happened to your body, Edgar? What did they do to you? You can tell me. Think of the last day that you were alive, Edgar. What happened to your body? They tortured me. Mm hmm. In what way? They. And they. stabbed me in the heart. Mm hmm. Who was they? Me in the chest. Who is they? Who is they? 
Mm-hmm. Who stabbed you, Edgar? You're only 11. Who did this to you? I don't know. People. Mm-hmm. Let's find out why they did this to you, Edgar. You, you can see this as a soul. What happened to you? Mm. Where were you that this happened? I was playing outside. Mm-hmm. Who were you playing with? On the street. Mm-hmm. Just playing. What happened? And I... What happened from and the time? I was just taken. I was just taken. Someone took you? Someone took me. Mm -hmm. They kidnapped you? They kidnapped me. Uh-huh. And they put me in a, in a dark room and I was so scared. I was scared. What did they do to you, Edgar? They bit me. Mm -hmm. They hurt me. They kicked me. They whipped me. They molested me. And I tried to escape. And then they... It almost feels that they pulled my heart out. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, Edgar, is, uh, is this why you attach yourself to Anjali? Because uh, she was afraid to? What have you been doing to her all this time since she was uh, a little girl? What have you been doing to her? What does she feel from you? <sighs> to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Oh. And how does that help her to be afraid? To be afraid. Don't go out. Don't do things. Don't be seen. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't do anything. That. Don't. Surface yourself. Don't come out. Mm -hmm. Because you may be taken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Edgar, would you like to feel better? Yes. All right. Edgar, look inside of yourself and find that spark of light. <sighs> this is the spark of light that created you. This is the creator within. Uh, find that spark and tell me when you find it. Oh, I feel sick. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that light. Once you look at that light, you will feel better. Find that light. It's shining. Look at it. Find mm. that light, Edgar. Find that light. I want to, but I'm scared. It's there. It'll make you feel good. Find that light. This light loves you. Take a look at it. I promise you, you feel better. Take a look at that light. Tell me when you see it. It's there, Edgar. I can see a little bit. Make it bigger now. Make that light bigger. Keep expanding it more and more. Feel it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It hurts. It hurts my eyes. It hurts. Mm. And that means you're not feeling it. Feel it with your heart. Don't look at it. Feel it. This light is so bright and so loving. Feel the love of the Creator within you. Expand it. Let it take over your whole body and feel the love. 
This is the love you've been looking for, Edgar. It's been inside all the time. How does it feel? Find yourself falling into that light, Edgar. Embracing you. It's a beautiful pink light. Ah. It's pink. Wonderful. The pink of it's love. Pink. Mm -hmm. I Make like it pink. Make it bigger now. Make it as big as a star. Feel yourself expanding out more and more in this beautiful pink light. How does that feel, Edgar? I feel calm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to fear when you're in this light? No. This is the love of Creator, the love of God. This is where you could have gone after your body died. Are you ready now, Edgar, to be in this light? Yes. Very good. But first we have some work to do. I'd like for you now to shine that light inside of Anjali. Mm -hmm. Pull out all of your influence and replace it with that light, that beautiful pink light. Let her feel the same love, the same love that you feel, that light. And tell me when you're done. How does it feel to help her? It feels good. Very good. So we need to take care of some business before you go back home. Edgar, I'd like for you to go back to that body of yours that was injured. Mm. And I'd like for you to send that light into that body and heal that body. That little body of Edgar's. I'd like for you to send that light and completely repair it. Make it whole. And tell me how that feels. Feels good. Wonderful. Are you ready to go home now? Mm hmm What would you like to tell Angeli after all this time of making her afraid? There's still a little heaviness in the chest. Mm -hmm. So keep sending her light. Is there anything for her to be afraid of now, Edgar? Do you see that Anjali is a beautiful light, a healing light? Do you see that she can heal herself? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm going to help her. I'm going to put my hand on your chest and let's take out mm -hmm. all of the remaining fear and heaviness. I'd like mm -hmm. for you to go ahead and pull from your chest and anywhere in your body any of that heaviness, any of that fear. Anything that's holding you back, give it all to me and we're going to send it to the universe for healing. Tell me when I have it all. Pull it all out, don't leave anything inside. it all out and send it to the universe for healing and now what we would like to put in that space <sighs> what we'd like to put in there courage let's put lots of courage feel that courage pumping into your heart and flowing through your whole body filling your entire body with courage, courage. 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, tap your head and let's seal that courage in. What else would we like to put in there? Lots of healing love. Mm-hmm. Fire hose of healing love. Feel it just uh, pumping in. Oh, transforming all of your cells in your body into a beautiful healing light where you can shine it out and help others. Uh, and I'm going to tap that and seal that in. How does that feel now? Uh, Feels good? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, very good. So, Edgar, are you ready now to go back home? Uh-huh. All right, I'd like for you to go through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. Take a look and let me know when you see him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See him. Very good. Take him. Take his hand and he's going to send you right back to that light. Send you directly back home. And tell me if there's anybody there to greet you. My mother. Mm, give her a big hug. She's missed you. Mm. Edgar, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Mm. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael the Healer to step forward and fill her chest with that beautiful green light. Mm. Like a wonderful ointment. Sealing her. Healing her. Feel the sensation of that green light. Like a soothing balm. Very good. And now that we have seen that Edgar was causing her some issues, she says she also woke up a few years ago saying that there was something in her belly that just snapped out of her, snapped her back. What was that? What was causing that in her belly? Is it still there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look and see what that is. Is this something that she created or attached to her? Mm-hmm. Take a look at it. What does it look like? What is it? Looks like massive worms. Massive worms. Let's find out what those massive worms are doing there. Mm. Let's find out what that is. I'm going to put my hand over and let's get a representative of those worms. I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. And it won't bother you at all. You'll be able to speak very clearly. Um, Why are you there? What is it? What are these worms oh. doing there? What are you doing there in her stomach? Oh, I'm decomposing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why are you decomposing? Uh, uh, what has happened? Why are you in her belly? Hmm. Now, if you're decomposing, it means that you were once alive. What were you? Mm-hmm. What are you? What do you worms represent? What is it? You can speak clearly. What do you worms represent to her? Earth. Earth. And why are you there? Why does she have a mass of worms in her belly. If you don't speak with me, I can't help you today. What are you doing there? Hiding. What are you hiding from? Are you hiding from Angeli? I don't want to be taken. Where do you where are you planning to be taken? I don't 
want to be taken. I don't want to be taken underground. Ah, who put you there in her belly? Who are they? We understand you don't want to be taken. Who put you there? Who are they that you speak of? I don't know. Let's find out. What do they look like? Uh, they look like men mm -hmm. in top hats. Mm -hmm. Top hats, long coats. Mm -hmm. 19th century kind of dress. Mm -hmm. And it hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what they're doing there. Why did they put you there? Uh, Let's go back even further uh, and find out why they put you there. Uh, See a picture of it now. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and touch your shoulder and we're going to go deeper and deeper uh, now. Go deeper and deeper, every breath taking you deeper and deeper to that lifetime showing where those worms came from. Going back deeper uh, and deeper and deeper, that's right. Uh, Let's find out who those men in the top hats were. Feel yourself now uh, there. Where are you? On the ground. On the ground. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What's happening to you? I... Uh, uh, they're torturing me. Mm -hmm. Who's torturing you? These men. I don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. they, no, I know who they are. Who are they? They belong to some society. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell somebody what I've learned. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. What have you learned? They're, they're doing something bad to people, mm -hmm. and I want to tell somebody, and I was going to tell somebody, they caught me, mm -hmm. threw me on the ground. I'd like for you to detach yourself from that body uh, and see it from beyond. See that scene from outside of your body, uh, and tell me what they're doing to your uh, body. They cut my stomach, cuts open while I'm alive, mm -hmm. and they filled it with earth, and Mm -hmm. uh, and why have they done that? Uh, uh, Go ahead and connect with them and find out why they did that. What's, what does it represent? Some kind of ritual. Mm -hmm. What does that ritual do to them? Some kind of ritual. Mm -hmm. You can't be telling anybody. Mm -hmm. If you do, this is what happens mm -hmm. to you. You're going to be grounded. Mm -hmm. It's grounding. It's grounding. Did you agree to this grounding? Did I agree? Mm -hmm. Did you agree to that? <sighs> I'm part of that society. Mm -hmm. Did you make a vow? Yes, mm -hmm. it's some kind of like a an underground mm -hmm. society of higher learning, mm -hmm. clever people who I'm not sure run experiments on people. I don't know. What are you in that lifetime? What do you do? Mm, I am. A man mm -hmm. who is well to do and who also funds with his money these experiments. Mm -hmm. And what are these experiments for? Uh, what else? Are you using people? Mm -hmm. What are you using the people for? Using these people for... Learning... Learning... 
Mm-hmm. Learning. What year is this place? 1870. Mm-hmm. 1870 learning, but we don't learn on cadavers. Mm-hmm. We learn on live bodies. And how many live bodies have you worked on? Eleven. Mm-hmm. But, but I found out something. I always thought we were learning for progress, but I find out it's some other, some other reason. What is the reason? The other reason was other reason was space aliens. Mm-hmm. Aliens test humans, find out, test humans, find their insight, what is compatible to the aliens as hosts, Mm -hmm. as hosts to make humans, to make them more Compatible to the alien hosts. Mm -hmm. And what do these alien hosts do? Do they They, take over these bodies? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They take over these bodies and they control society. And I know there's others, but there are other aliens, but I don't. We don't work with them. These. This is just something I. I recently found out and mm-hmm. I was and I didn't know that mm-hmm. and that is not what I thought and I wanted to tell and I wanted it to stop so now you are filled with worms mm. mm-hmm yep and they decapitate me mm-hmm <sighs> that's it So now we need to heal. Mm. So I'd like for you now, now that you know Mm. that this is what happened to you, Mm. I'd like for you to go back in time and see that contract in your hand. See that contract, that vow that you made to not tell. What does this contract look like? Paper. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to go ahead and burn that contract. Completely burn it. And as you burn that contract, it now allows you to understand that you have already told their secret. You have now chosen a different timeline. One in which you are able to speak freely into the future about what they were doing. Allow yourself now to erase that timeline in which they decapitated you and filled you with worms. Like for you to take a large eraser and begin erasing that timeline. And tell me when it's done. Mm-hmm. All right. And now let's go forth without that contract and tell me what your life looks like now. doesn't matter what I tell people. Mm -hmm. They don't believe me. That's right. Because the information that you'll be given Mm -hmm. is in the future, not now. So allow yourself to feel 
that lightness of your soul knowing that in this lifetime that you're living in 1870 that you won't need to worry about a thing anymore and tell me how your body feels now Gently easing, but this very, very slow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of soreness. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I'd, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin shedding light onto that area. You know how to use this light. This is a light that you used to pray with, to heal that man with tuberculosis. Go ahead and begin using that light throughout your whole body and begin healing from this lifetime. The soreness, which is just like a memory. And tell me how that feels. Very good. I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael to once again step forward and let's begin healing the memory. Go through her belly and let's fill that entire area with that green light like a gentle healing balsam. Filling all of the crevices all of the memories like a nightmare that never happened feel the gentleness of the light very good and as he continues to work on you let's continue and find out why it is that she is stagnated why she's not moving forward now that we understand that Edgar was giving her fe fear does she need to be stagnating anymore no have we beat that dead horse are we done with that understanding that these were all things from her past life and from attachments that have nothing to do with who she really is can she understand that now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and fill her with that flow of energy. Let's move that energy through her as she begins to feel the vibration of her own power coming back to her. She had a question about Ricardo. Was he able to do any good for her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did he come into her life? To show her that she was spiritual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what she needed to know. Very good. And being that she is spiritual, how many spirit guides does she have? She saw those beings with the tall hats. Were those her guides? No. No. Who are her spirit guides? Six of them. Six of them. Would you tell her what their roles are? Encouragement. Mm -hmm. Self-belief. 
love mm-hmm. enjoyment healing And how are they doing in their roles? Good. Good. Do you think that after today's session that her guides will have more influence on her? Yes. Yes, very good. She says that uh, she wants to be able to do this hypnosis. And we already showed her a picture of her doing that. Is this the right career for her? Yeah, mm-hmm. her brain is wired for that. Mm-hmm. Her mind, her intellectuality, mm-hmm. her caring. Mm-hmm. Will she be evolving to something else after this? It is up to her. Okay, good. So what's been holding her back? What's making her afraid of her success? Exposed. Mm -hmm. She seems to have had a few past lives that have gotten her into trouble. For helping other people. Is this the fear that she's been carrying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does she need to be worried about being chased as a witch anymore? No. Does she need to worry about being decapitated and filled with worms no. anymore? Mm-hmm. Does she need to worry at all? No. No. So, ask her higher self, what would you like to tell her about success? Go for it. Mm, Very good. Would you continue cheering her on? Absolutely. Very good. Why is it all about fairness and love, deep love that she's searching for? Love at a soul level. Trying to find that love that we find in heaven for God. Mm -hmm. Now she has that love within her. She has that spark of divinity within her own heart. Yes. And it's been said that any time that you need to find that love, all you have to do is look within. Mm -hmm. So can we look within today and have her connect with that inner wisdom, with that inner love that she's been searching for? Mm -hmm. So strongly. Mm -hmm. Have her feel that connection. Mm. And let's tap into that now so that she can not only feel the love, but feel the power that comes from the Creator. She was created in the image and likeness of God as a Creator. She is able to tap in to this wisdom at any time and be able to accomplish what a Creator does. So allow her to feel that energy going through her body, giving her the confidence and strength to tap in at any time she needs anything. She needs any courage, any love, any encouragement, any self-belief. When she needs to heal, when she needs to feel successful, 
in advance in her life. Let's keep that tapped in, tuned in, and turned on. Feel that energy going through that body. How does that feel to be tapped in? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So Anjali said that her inner child needs love and respect. Can she tap in to that light to feel that love and respect coming from Creator? What else does she need to feel better? Love is all. Love is all. Very good. Would you do a scan on her body now and let's find out what's causing some of these health issues that she's wanting to know about today? Let me know what you find. How does her body look? more relaxed. Mm -hmm. So as her body is relaxed, let's address the scars that she has on her back and let's find out what those scars are all about. Where do they come from? They're deep and they're taking forever to heal. What caused these scratches? Hearing taken. Mm -hmm. Where was she taken? <sighs> Is this extraterrestrial? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does she have a connection with them? Mm -hmm. Does it have anything to do with that lifetime where she knew more than she should? Or is this something else? Something else. All right. Why was she taken? I'm feeling a lot of pain in my back right now. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that pain is all about. Detach yourself from it and be able to observe it. What is that in the back? Revenge. Mm -hmm. Where did that revenge come from? Whose revenge? Mine. Mm hmm. What's the origin of that revenge? Payback. Mm -hmm. For what? I don't know. Let's find out. We need to address this because we can't have her going through life <sighs> with someone wanting to pay back, get payback for what, sh what happened. Let's find out. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on your shoulder once again and let's go deep 
deeper, deeper to sleep. Sleep now deeper and deeper, finding out the origin of where these marks came and who did them and for what purpose. Be there now. Where are you? Some kind of... It's between... It's uh, wood mm -hmm. and fluorescent light. I mm -hmm. don't know what it is. It's some kind of a shop. Mm -hmm. It's... You're in a ship? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Look around. What do you see? What is it? Uh, what are you seeing? Um, uh, I'm lying. I'm lying on my stomach. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Floating. Mm hmm but on some kind of board. Uh, are you by know. yourself or are you with others? I'm alone. Mm -hmm. What are you doing on there? But I can't feel anything. Mm -hmm. I can't feel anything. And I don't know. I can't feel any pain. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like for you to detach yourself from that body and begin zooming out so that you can see what's around you and who's there with you. Zoom out until you find out where it is that you are. See your body. Just it's like a capsule. I'm in a capsule just floating. Mm -hmm. What does your body look like there? I have no clothes. Mm -hmm. Just lying flat on my stomach mm -hmm. on this on this pallet mm -hmm. and just floating in a capsule. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why those marks are on my back. Do you have the body of Anjali there? Or someone else? Take a look at that body. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not me, that's right. Mm -hmm. What does that body look like? It's a male. Mm -hmm. Whose body is that? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and count from three back to one. When I get to number one, you will know what that's all about. Three, two, and one. Allow yourself now to know the answers. Connect. It's kind of, it's kind of bearded man. Bearded man. Mm -hmm. Who is that man? I don't know. Is, it, is he whipped? Mm -hmm. He's whipped. Who's whipped him? like for you to re-run it backwards. Go backwards and see who whipped him. Is it whipped or clawed? Find out. Go back even further to see it happening. Re More like scratched. Scratched. Uh -huh. So let's find out who's scratching him. Go back even further to see. It's a woman. It. It's a woman. Mm hmm. What does she look like? She's very dark. Mm hmm. Almost like black mm -hmm. with gold. Mm hmm. With gold necklace. Mm hmm. A midnight blue black. Mm hmm. Is not a human. She's not a human? Not a human. What does she look like? Very long face. Long nails. Mm -hmm. 
Does she remind you of any type of animal? No. No. So what is the reason why she scratched this person? This man? Hmm. I don't know if it was pleasure or pain. Let's find out. Just your first impression. He wasn't doing what she wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. So she scratched him. Mm -hmm. I'll put him back in the pond. Mm -hmm. I don't know how my I, I don't know how I related to that person. Let's find out. Know. Let's connect and see why you're related to this person. Three, two, and one. You'll know now. What's the relationship? It's me and another life. Mm -hmm. What is the what has been unresolved in that life that you need to resolve now? What is she telling me to do? Move forward. Mm -hmm. That's all I heard. Just move forward. Move forward. Mm -hmm. Running out of patience. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Who is she? Is she a friend or a foe? She's a. Just your impression. Friend. She's a friend. So what is she telling you? To move forward? Hurry up. Mm -hmm. What is your mission that you need to do? What do you need to accomplish that you're not accomplishing? <sighs> Help people. Mm -hmm. Very good. And once you begin helping people, will those scratches heal? Yes. Very good. So let's thank her for the reminder. And let's begin using your light to shine on your back, reminding you that you have friends that want you to advance and move forward to accomplish the mission that you came here to do. Octorian. Mm-hmm. Octorian friends. Mm-hmm. Is this where she's from? Actorius. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is she connected to that system? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How can she tap in to the Arcturian system in order to accomplish what she came here to do? Meditate. Meditate. Very good. Can I please request assistance for guides to help with the meditation? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of her health issues? She says that ever since she turned 40, she has digestive issues, pain on her left side of her torso where it connects to her hips. She's gained weight on her legs, arms, hips, and back. What's going on? Drink more mm -hmm. fluids. Okay. Rather than eat, drink more. Okay, so when she's hungry, drink? Drink, drink mm -hmm. smoothies, drink organic. She's 
she's a good eater she needs less food she doesn't eat as much food as she is okay she needs much less food less food more liquids yeah okay good now she says that her eyes aren't focused very well what's going on with her eyes A vision of the future needs to be clearer. Mm -hmm. How can you help her with that? Opening up her third eye more. Mm -hmm. Can we begin doing that today, please? Mm -hmm. Very good. What are you using to open up her third eye? The light of God. Very good. Tell me when you're done, please. Very good, thank you. And she asked about being anxious. Did we take care of that today? She had a lot of influence going on there. We had Edgar keeping her in fear. Is anything else causing her to be anxious? No. No, very good. She also asked why she had no daughters. Was that because of that? That Barbarian love. Mm -hmm. And why cesarean births? Why should she not have natural births? Was there some sort of fear there? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. Very good. Now, one question that I have for you is, why did you bring her here today? To make her believe in herself. Mm -hmm. To experience you, Alba. Mm -hmm. to encourage her mm -hmm. and to clear her. And how have we done today? Well. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her or any of her, any of her uh, guides or angels? Is there any message for her that she needs to hear? We are with you. We are with you, and we support you. Are we complete? Yeah. Thank you very much. Feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Wow. Wow. How does your body feel? <sighs> Yeah, I've got lots, lots of stuff going on in my digestive right ah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're working on you. Huh? Yeah. Here, let's switch these stones for Shungite. Let's ground you. There you go. There you go. Very good. Let's ground you. So, how do you feel? How do I feel? I feel. I feel a little bit lighter. Yeah, I feel mm. lighter. Yes. Yeah. A lot of stuff came through. Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember. Mm -hmm. I remember all of it. Yeah. I'm surprised because 
I, I didn't doubt myself. I just let it all go. Mm-hmm. There were times when my ego was saying, really? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, shut up, please. You agreed to help me. <laughs> you know, you agreed to help me. Come on. Yes. And uh, just... Uh, Does it make you understand why you're being held back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the toadstools were there again. It's mm-hmm. funny because in Heather's session, mm-hmm. I saw them, but I didn't know what they were. Ah. And when we were walking around... I saw this woman mm. out of nowhere wearing a jacket with bright toadstools on them. There you go. That's an important no, no. thing. So how long do you feel that you were on this journey? I would say two hours. Mm-hmm. Two hours. So is this something you want to keep private? Do you think it's... Um, valuable information for anyone else. That's a got a lot of information. We, we'll take out personal stuff, obviously. Um, I'm going to leave it to you. Take some personal stuff out if you can, mm-hmm. please. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, mm. So you came all the way from Canada. Oh, yes. And how do you feel now? Uh, much, much lighter. Mm. Very worth it. Um, it it's It's amazing. It's, as you say, you just let yourself go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't even think about it. Whatever comes up. I think I surprised myself quite a few times. Um, yeah. You never know what's going to happen you in never one know. of these sessions. You never know. No. So you have recently taken the introspective hypnosis class. Oh, yes. Yeah. And how does that compare to what we did today? Very well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Very good. Um, it's uh, it's the many ch- ways of reaching this, the higher self and That's the right. subconscious. And uh, your method is definitely one that works very well. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Now, how does your body feel after doing this? It's going through some changes. I can feel it mm-hmm. internally. Uh, I, I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I, I, you can feel that. Uh-huh. But... Um, there was some heavy duty stuff that yeah, came out. very heavy duty. So now that you've experienced this, do you feel that you would make a better practitioner to help others? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think you have to go through it to to experience it. Yeah. And um, where are you located so that people could find you? Yeah, uh, in Mississauga, Ontario. Angelie Babber. Mm-hmm. Um, Alba's going to provide uh, some information. Yeah. And it makes me, having cleared myself a lot, lets me able to channel a lot of the healing mm-hmm. light, able to guide people much, much effectively, mm-hmm. more effectively. Mm-hmm. So this is the reason why I wanted to come to Alba, is first to help myself so I can help others. Mm-hmm. Because we all need some kind of guidance That's from right. my higher self. Mm-hmm. And like I tell everybody, it's the same as the airplane. You have to put the oxygen mask on first. So it, in order to help other people, you've got to take care of yourself first. Great analogy. Yeah. So this was a way for you to take care of yourself before yeah. you can help others. Yeah. And I learned that this is what I'm to do. This is what you're meant to meant do. Meant to do. And this exactly. is my, yeah. So. Yes. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. I book way out, very far out. How how long did you have to wait? Wow. Well, uh, originally it was a year from when I, <laughs> but I think uh, uh, I, I, you got to you move you move yeah, things. We, we had, I, yeah, yes, so we from up. twelve months it was to eight months. So there I was very grateful for that. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website albawomen.com. Go to the out of town page. Yeah. There is a link on the bottom that's how to sign up for my my newsletter. And I put out a newsletter every month. And if I have openings, I put the links on that newsletter. And that's how you get a session with me. So sign up and then when you get the newsletter click on those links really fast so i hope you enjoyed the session i certainly did i enjoy all of them obviously and uh, i hope i get to meet you sometime soon and if not me you can go to toronto and see angeli thank you for watching and have a good day good night thank you bye bye until the next video hi give me that hug give me that hug Thank you.